Today, we will be solving an awesome dynamics problem all in a few minutes. Pay close attention. First off, one must read the problem thoroughly. Read along as I read aloud. A block, mass m1, lying on a frictionless inclined plane, is connected to a mass, m2, by a massless cord passing over a pulley in figure 4-53. A. Determine a formula for the acceleration of the systems in terms of m1, m2, theta, and little g. B. What conditions apply to masses m1 and m2 for the acceleration to be in one direction, say m down the plane, or in the opposite direction? Good job! We read through the problem. Now, let us see what we are given. No numerical values are known except for little g, 9.8 meters per second squared. The inclined plane is frictionless. The words connected to a mass m by a massless cord passing over a pulley tell us that the tension is the same for both strings and that also they have the same acceleration. Good. Now sketch the drawing and decide on what to draw. A free body diagram seems smart. mg is going down for both. There is also tension in both as you can see and the block on the incline as a normal force perpendicular to the incline. Once that is good to go, you must choose a coordinate system. Look at the way the FBD diagrams are drawn and the direction the masses should go. For mass 2, positive y is going down due to the acceleration. For mass 1, positive y is going up and a nice coordinate system was drawn that includes mgx and mgy. Now that that is good and done with, one must list the given quantities and the variable you are looking for. According to the problem, we must find the acceleration formula in terms of m1, m2, theta, and g. We know g is 9.8, and that is the only numerical number given. Everything else we use to create the formula for acceleration. Acceleration, as you know, is the sum of the forces over mass. By using that equation, we will have the formula needed to solve letter A. Looking back at the FBD, we must construct a formula for each of the masses. For mass 1, Acceleration equals tension minus the force of gravity of y over the mass. Because the problem asks to put the equation in terms of theta, mgy will change to m1g sine theta. For mass 2, acceleration equals force of gravity minus tension due to the direction that the block is going all over mass. Now, to put the equation in terms of both the masses, theta and g, Set the two equations equal to each other. This can be done because the acceleration is the same because they both are hanging from the same string. The tensions cancel and the masses and forces of gravity combine to create the formula of acceleration in terms of m1, m2, theta, and g. Therefore, the final answer for the letter A is acceleration equals force of gravity of mass 2 minus the force of gravity of mass 1 sine of theta all over mass 1 plus mass 2. Good job! You solved the first part. For part B, it asks, what conditions apply to masses m1 and m2 for the acceleration to be in one direction, say m down the plane, or in the opposite direction? The conditions that apply to mass 1 and mass 2 for the acceleration of block 1 and block 2 to be in one direction depends on the force of gravity. Looking at the FBD of both blocks, it can be seen that if m2g is less than m1g sine theta, the acceleration goes down the incline. On the other hand, if m2g is more than m1g sine theta, the acceleration goes up the incline. All this could be found by observing the drawings you have done previously before in analyzing the pro problem. By doing all this, you solved both parts, A and B, and you are now done with the whole problem. Good job. Finally, a check must be done to see if the answers are reasonable. You should check your answers to see if all units are correct as well. Once this is done, you are finally done with the problem. The end.